Hey, what is going on, guys? Wolf Spider-Man here, and today, guys, I'm fu me and Matt have finally completed the Dryzendrock Easter Egg. Now, to start off, I'm gonna be giving you guys some tips and tricks that me and Matt use to complete this Easter Egg, and how you guys can complete it yourselves as well. Now, um, I will. Now, the main reason why I just skipped ahead to when we got the boats is because at the beginning. What we did was that we kind of just sat, we just saved as many zombies as we possibly could to feed to the dragons, and we really didn't focus too much on really anything else. We just wanted to get out of there. We just wanted to get done with the dragons, get started working on our bows as fast as possible. Now you guys might be wondering why I'm doing the skull crusher bow for why I'm doing the skull crusher bow and not doing the wolf bow. It's because when it comes to the keepers part, Skull Crusher helps out a lot better than uh, Wolf Bow. And really, the other thing too is that Wolf Bow isn't as effective as Skull Crusher Bow against Panzers. Now, when you think about it like that, this Easter egg, to be honest, is really, really difficult when it comes to the boss fight. The boss fight is by far probably the only part in the entire easter egg that I had really a problem with and even Matt was even agreeing with me too that and the funny thing is on this attempt it was so fucking easy like literally we fucking like every time that the wisp was in the middle of the of the um, arena we basically put our Ragnaroks down and it was like for whatever reason it was just so goddamn easy. But anyways, guys, going to my tips and tricks, going to some tips, tricks, strategies that you guys can use when to complete the Dryzen Drak Easter Egg. And now I know that the Dryzen Drak map has been out for a long ass time, but I just figured that you know maybe you guys could take whatever you want from this because to be honest, me and Matt put about a good 50 or so attempts into this Easter Egg, and this was honestly, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this was by far actually our worst attempt. And we ended up beating it on this attempt. So, just, it was wow when, when, we, when we hit it happened. But, um, so tip, so I'll get straight into tips first. Tip, um, go with good gobble gums. I would recommend, um, uh, I would recommend possibly getting, um, aftertaste, pop shocks. Oh, yeah, uh, strategy number one. I'll get straight into strategy one since I already mentioned, uh, pop shocks. Get have the people that you play with, and even if you're doing it or if you're doing it solo, get pop shocks. Okay, pop shocks will save you in the Panzer fight. I know the plunger is good, but fuck the plunger because it's for a few reasons. Number one, it on the charges that it has only last for a while. They don't last forever, so it's not like permanent. So it's not like. To be honest, like, if you had the plunger, it's not only going to be, like, one of those big OP things that would, like, you could help, you could, that you could use to survive, like, the highest of rounds. But, so, anyways, um, go with pop shocks, and then on the first wave, I would not use any of your pop shocks unless you have to. If it's only critical condition, that's when I would use it, but save it, and then on the second wave of, of Soldats, then start using your pop shocks. Try to keep, um, try to kill, not, not, try not to kill every single one of them with pop shocks. If you get down to, like, the last two or maybe one, that's what me and Matt did in this, in this. We just saved the last two soldats and we just decided to bow the shit out of them and just shoot them. So that way we could save our pop shocks for later on. Because later on, when it comes down to the last little bit of the, of the, uh, boss's health, he will eventually just start spawning, uh, panzers while you are having to put the Ragnaroks in the, in the wisp part and having to defeat them. So eventually that's when you want to keep pop shocks because pop shocks is the only thing you have besides the plunger that can one hit a panzer. So going back to also talking about, um, tips and going back to talking about tips, um, have the right, I would always, I would obviously always say have the right perks, jug, speed, double tap, double tap is a must. I would think because a lot, I know a lot of people think that double tap is useless in this game, but to be honest, it helps out so much because it gives you double damage and it also, besides the fact that it increases your rate of fire, like I said, gives you double damage. So double damage against the keeper and against soldat, zombies, whatever, that's going to be really effective. And of course, jug just so that way you can start take some hits from the panzers and from everything in the boss fight. Now, the main reason why I'm only talking about the boss fight here is because 
this Easter egg overall, the steps are not hard at all. They're really, they're not superly complicated. You can practically do like all the steps within a maximum of two rounds in between each other. And then when you get to the keepers, I mean, then that's when you have to sacrifice rounds after rounds after rounds. And then, to, and then after you get the keeper done, you just have to prepare for the boss fight, get gobble gums, get perks, get what you need. And so, when it comes to that, then that's when you gotta take it into consideration that you have to, you know, get there as fast as you can and try to get what you need. Because you don't want to spend too much time not getting to the boss fight because the thing is, is that... Eventually, the higher the rounds that you get to, uh, I think eventually the boss fight becomes harder. That's what some, some people tell me. They tell me by round 18 that the boss fight becomes harder. I don't believe it, but if it's true, it's true. I just do. I just take with what I can get. But anyways, stra but anyways so besides the um, not getting the plunger, me and Matt also went for the panzer head. If you guys don't know how to get the Panzer hat, I would recommend watching a vi the video by Mr. Raffle Waffles. He was very helpful with it. It was the Panzer hat is not hard at all to get. All you have to do is just kill three Panzers with three Panzer claws that are around the map. One is one is on the catwalk between the supply room and one of the um, lightning electronic urns or lightning urns, I should say. And another one is. Um, Another one is um, down the hall from Stamina Up, like in the like the hallway of guard, uh, like hallway of statues for the Skull Crusher bow, and so like you can again, you guys can just look up the video for these locations and where and how to shoot them down and when to shoot them, and then the fourth third location is down by uh, Quick Revive by Spawn Room. Um, that one got really fucking hectic for us in this attempt, and you and you guys will eventually see it later. Um, because I'm going to be leaving the last of the gameplay running once I'm done giving you guys everything I can give you. So anyways, the best thing I would say is try to develop a plan like me and Matt, or try, Matt try to do. To be honest, we want to get done with bows on the earliest rounds possible. I know for people that love playing zombies to just survive sur and just, you know, play the game. I know, just play, do that after the Easter Egg, or play Zetsubo. Zetsubo, I think, is honestly the one Zombies map, or to be honest, put, like, you can just play it and just survive, and doesn't even really matter what round you're on for the boss fight, because the boss fight's inf incredibly fucking easy. So, um, but anyways, so, the main reason why I would say get the Panzer has is because it gives you, it, like, the, the damage from Panzers is reduced by half, and you guys will eventually see later that I get shock charged by, like, fucking five panzers. Or no, no, not charged by five panzers. By just two panzers. But I get shock charged by them and burnt by them at least five times. And it's insane how much, like, damage the panzer hat takes away. To be honest, if, to be honest, I know everyone's like, oh, you have to get the plunger, you have to get the panzer hat, you have to get everything. And then once you get that, then you're all set. To be honest, that's not how me and Matt did it. We tried attempt after attempt just it being the two of us. We tried it with three people. And to be honest, it, we finally got it to work with just, it being, with just it being me and him. And really, to be honest, anything really considerably different except that our Ragnaroks got charged extremely fast. Neither one of us had Arsenal Accelerator. Both of us had Pop Shocks. So we were all A-OK. -okay. Um, going further in, um, we got the Panzer hat. We got our bows done. Um, going, I already said what I got the Skull Crusher bow for, and then of course Matt was doing the lightning bow. Um, oh, guns. I got the Brecci because the Brecci, to be honest, is probably the best weapon to use, bec or besides the, or just really any shotgun, I would say. Normally the Haymaker or the Brecci because when you need the, ha the Haymaker and the Brecci can, um, kill the Panzers extremely fast, you just spray into their faces, and other good you other good gobble gums you could use in the boss fight. You could use blunt trauma, with, or no, he, not blunt trauma, head drama. And the main reason why I would say that'd be a good one is because it just every shot you take goes straight to their head. And if you guys didn't play Origins, well, the we only weak point that uh, um, the soldats had was just their face mask, and that was really the only fast way to kill them unless you had the ultimate fire staff and you were able to just annihilate them with just a charge of it but anyways so 
then once you get that, so then once you obviously have all that stuff done, um, I would recommend getting the shield early as possible. The shield is honestly uh, sometimes a lot better than Jug at some points. And if anyone goes, and to be honest guys, if this takes you a lot of attempts, do not feel like you're the only one that's ever put a lot of attempts into this. Because me and Matt have put at least, at least we've probably put in at least 50 attempts. Because we tried this during the school year. We were trying to get it, we were trying so hard to get it done. Literally on our first attempt of even trying to do it, just me, it being it being me and him, we didn't even get to the boss fight. Like we didn't even bear, we didn't even get to keepers. And like now when we were doing it, we always got the keepers. We always got the boss fight. But it was always because of it was always because of just the randomest of things always like killing us. Like for example, um, if it was a, like for example, like I remember on a, one really good attempt we had, and it was with me, Justin, and Matt. Basically, their wisp spawned in the middle. No one had charged Ragnarok, so we had to wait. But then I went down because I got shock charged. And another thing too is that the shock charges, the Panzer shootout, they are really effective because they slow you down. And even with the Panzer hat, they still stun you. So it's pretty shit how that works. But, you know, I would still recommend getting the Panzer hat. It still works wonders. Um, so going back to uh, talking about how, um, the best, the best uh, trick I would say doing is... Uh, if you have the person that's doing the lightning bow, they should know how to hit all three of the campfires at the start of the map without having to teleport. Um, I would say that it's best to keep um, conservative with zombies if the lightning bow person needs to get their urns done. And another thing too, um, me and Matt, we've tried we've tried several strategies. What we did is that um, we I still was working on my bow and I let him finish his bow. Now, what I mean by that is, is that, um, I basically, if I was doing in the middle of my bow, like, for example, in this attempt, I knew what three symbols I needed. I had ball, and I didn't know, where I, all I know is I had ball and some other t uh, symbols. But anyways, um, I let him take all my zombies that I had, and I basically let him, um, get his bow done. And what that does is that, I, that gives him the time to start up the wisps. And that gives me time to, and that gives him, you know, time for us to, you know, get starting on the a strike steps. So, what I would say is, if you're playing this in co-op, let the person, let someone get done with their bow as fast as possible. Normally, the person with the lightning bow. And then once they finish with the lightning bow, then then I would say, then hey, start with these strike steps. Then one, then before you get to keepers, that's when I would say start working on your bows, get all the steps done. And just think, if you're doing this with four players or three players, and you're thinking about doing the mat fire bow, I would say save that. Just don't even do it. To be honest, it is such a hard bow to get. And to be honest, the only best thing about it is that it traps panzers right in their tracks. So it's a tough bow to get. But you know what? If you want to try getting it, if you, if you if you if you guys want to do a challenge, there you go. You get the do, complete the strike with the fire bow. But to be like. That's really it, guys. Just, you gotta go for things. To be honest, Panzer Hat it was probably the only thing that me and Matt really tried our, like, really honestly did. We, to be honest, like I said, this was our worst attempt. To be honest, we were, like, getting, like, to the Wisps by level, by, not level, uh, round 10. And we were getting on our way earlier rounds than that. And it was ridiculous how it happened. Um... I'll talk further in depth with the boss fight a little bit, and then I'll and then I'll let the rest of the gameplay run. Um, what happened with the boss fight was I think it was because um, Matt went first, then I went second, and then basically once that happened, um, basically I killed most of the Panzers in the in the sec in the sec uh, not the first wave because Matt used his pop shocks in in the first wave, but in the second wave. Um, I basically used, like, most of my pop shocks, and I killed, like, a lot of zombies, so I was able to get my bow done, so I was able to get my Ragnar charged extremely fast, so that's what I was happy about, and to be honest, that was really the only way we were able to beat it, to be honest, we, I kept pop shocks still on me, and then I just, I was able to get my, I was able to get my, uh, Ragnarok charged fast enough, and we ended up beating it. 
To be honest, this Easter egg takes with a lot of luck and patience. Do not get frustrated if this Easter egg takes you a lot of attempts. You are not the only ones in the world that have taken forever to do this. And if you're one of those people that do, does this Easter egg every day, you do like you basic like you call this Easter egg your bitch. You know, congratulations. You know, if you probably if you honestly care that much to keep doing it over and over again, help other people out. It really becomes it really is a great thing when everyone helps each other out and everyone gets something done in the and everything everyone gets something done. And I will also say this before I get going, me and Matt have finally completed all of the Easter eggs so far. Garode Krovi is not available out on Xbox, but we have finally beaten Zetsubo, Dreisendrock, and Shadows of Evil. Um, I sadly don't have the gameplay from Zetsubo or Shadows of Evil. I really wanted to show you guys Shadows of Evil just because it was so hectic. It was a lot of fun doing it, even though I got bitched out a lot, but it was still really amazing. It was the the like the like the fights like the fights that we had and everything that we were doing basically made it a lot more awesome and Zetsubo really I kind of really me and Matt really had our friend Kent do everything because we yeah we beat it on our first try so if you guys need help with Zetsubo literally just find someone that knows it like from head to toe literally it's that easy but anyways guys I hope you guys enjoy I hope you guys possibly could take some of these tips and finish these trick yourself Again, if you need, and again, if you guys need help, um, go on COD LFG, or even if you guys actually still want to, even if you guys need help, I will actually might be able to do it with some people that you guys, if you guys need to do it, I can some, I can help out some of you people, and there you guys go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, be sure to leave a like rating below, and please subscribe for more Call of Duty Black Ops 3 videos. I'll be trying to see if possibly maybe I can do the Zetsubo no Shima Easter Egg one more time, and maybe I can be host and record it, and possibly, you know, get it to um, do everything. Shadows of Evil, I really don't know if I'm going to be ever doing that again. Shadows of Evil was a pain in the ass. If you guys ever look up the steps for it, you guys will realize what I'm talking about. Or if you guys have ever done it before, you'll see what I'm talking about. But without further ado, guys, I'll see you guys later. And when Guerrero Kobe comes out, I hope to make also an Easter egg video for that. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out. And I'm going to let the rest of the gameplay run. So I'll talk to you all later. See ya. Personal insults aside, Richtofen, I can assure you that the progress made at our lunar facility has only served to accelerate our plans. I have no doubt that the discovery of the NPD will prove vital to deciding the outcome of the war.
safe to have wood so close to explosives.
actually use your teeth? That was just a slight hiccup. Nothing to worry about.
box here because we had ended the round, so we weren't able to open the uh, press the um, open the apothecum book to open up the slab for the box or for the keeper.
just a forewarning you guys and then I'll finally let the video go without me saying anything. Um, the keeper will not appear like that. It'll appear in a ghost form and um, it, so just a fair warning. I'm just figure out that you guys know that. You guys can tell also by what cut what boat which boat you're supposed to use to take out the zombies by the outline of your screen. Um, so yeah. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out again. I am glad they are on our side. Until I stop, I am unstoppable. What is it you hope to find on our travels at Glide? What is it you want? Big Russian I know not why an animal such as you would be curious, Rick. But I do tell I hope to return to the motherland. To return Now do you regret your actions? Okay, one last thing and then I'll stop talking. Me, me and Matt forgot to put the slab in before we had, um, kind of to kill the zombies. So, all these kills we started at the beginning didn't count.
Like I said, guys, this was our worst attempt, and we literally beat the Easter egg on our worst attempt, so... Just like I was saying, this is by far the worst we ever did for an attempt, and we ended up beating it, so... I don't know. I guess the game was being nice, so... Yeah. Alright, I'm done talking.
lesson about gravity. What is this strange device? Demonstrate superior Russian strength. I pray I never have to face such monsters. Gun based powers seem to be relatively new discovery.
tiny demon's appetite knows no bounds!
I thought us fools to dare change history, but now I am not so sure. The road is long and dark, but I know where we are going. I, we, will complete our mission. <laughs> He's still alive. I fucking hope so. This subject. Will one day wreak havoc across the entire universe. He cannot be allowed to leave. Ugh. This wasn't how it was supposed to go. We were supposed to secure the package and be in and out clean. Instead, the whole thing's been one disaster after another. I should never have trusted you, Rick Toppin. Never! You should trust me, Dempsey. You all should. This artifact has the power to contain and preserve the subject's soul. Your soul. But it can only be done after the moment of death. Just as you saw me do to my other self. It is the only way. Wait! If someone's gotta take him out to save the universe, then it should be me that does it. Good to see you, Tank.